Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to add the buy it now button on your Shopify store, especially if you want this button added in more places than just the regular default product page, which you would typically just be seeing this buy it now button right underneath the add to cart button on your Shopify store. So I'm going to be walking you through how to do that in your Shopify store, how to add additional buy it now buttons, not only on just the product page itself, if you want to build it out to look more like a landing page with additional product information, uh, as well as how to add it to your homepage on your Shopify store as well. Maybe if you do want to, you know, beyond just linking to the product pages or the collections, you can also have an actual buy it now button for a specific product linked directly on your homepage as well. So that's going to be showing you how to do in this video here today. Without ado, let's go ahead and dive right into things. So first things first, of course, you're going to want to make sure that you are logged in to your Shopify store. Next, you're going to want to make sure sure, of course, that you've actually added at least one or two products to your Shopify store in order to do this. You will need some products, of course, uh, populated inside your Shopify store. Next, you're going to come over here to the online store, and this will bring up the themes editor. This is the theme editor. Now, first, we're going to be doing this on the home page, and then later in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do it on the product page um, so you can kind of get an idea because it is a little bit different depending on how you want things to populate and show up on your Shopify store. Uh, so first, we're going to go ahead ahead and select the customize button and that is the black customize button underneath the theme editor this will bring you into the theme editor now by default it will bring you right to the home page that's what we're going to be starting with now what you're going to do is scroll around to the specific location that you want to add this buy it now button maybe you want it towards the top of your home page maybe you want it like further down uh, depends on like how much other information and how many other sections you've already added to your Shopify store. Let's just go ahead and add it right here above the featured collection. So what you're going to do is mouse over the little plus button and click on add section. Alternatively, if, you, if, you, if you're unable to mouse over this and get it to pop up, you can also alternatively just go to the left hand sidebar here. Um, you can see right here we have the image banner, then we have the featured collection. You can also just mouse over here and click add section. Um, on the left hand sidebar here and this will bring up the section editor so you have a few different sections or well, quite a few different sections that you can select from on your Shopify store the one that you're gonna want to be looking for is featured product this is the featured products product um, app or widget or so to speak that you're gonna be adding to your Shopify store and this is what includes the buy it now button uh, as part of this editor. So we're going to click the featured product. Now, of course, we do actually have to select a product um, from your Shopify store. So we're going to go ahead and select something uh, pretty easy. Let's just go with the shirt. Yeah, so the shirt is good, good to go. Um, or we could also go with the jeans, something like that, too. Uh, let's just go with the, uh, let's just go with the shirt actually. Um, so we've selected that product. Now, once you, you have selected a product, you can, you can change the color scheme here if you want to as well. Um, so if you want to change the overall look, if you want it to look like that or like this, uh, you can, you can go into the uh, theme settings to change the colors. If you want to change the color schemes, click theme settings, click colors. And this is where you can either add additional brand new schemes or edit the ones that already exist in your Shopify store. Uh, that's how you do it right there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just change this back to, uh, let's just go with scheme two. It's a little bit more, well, let's stick with scheme one. It's very bright and vibrant. Um, you can also select a secondary background if you want that as well. Um, this is where you're going to select sort of the additional media options. So if you have small, medium, large, uh, and then if you want it to fit or whatnot, you can play around with all this here if you want to hide variants or something like that. If you do have product variants, um, if you want it to do certain things with the images, you know, feel free to edit all the specific settings inside here. We're going to go back. Um, and then next, now we have the actual block. So to select the buy button to get it to show up, you click the buy button and this will show either the dynamic checkout button if you have it. Um, if you don't, then, you know, if you don't have the dynamic checkout, on your store, then it will just show the regular add to cart button. And this is where people can actually add the product directly to their cart um, from this buy button here, uh, even on the home page on your Shopify store. You can also opt to remove some of these other elements if you don't want them. If you don't want the quantity selector, you can either hide it uh, or you can even just outright delete it. We're just going to go ahead and hide these things. There are no variants here. Uh, you can hide the price or you can leave the price if you want that there too. 
Uh, you could even hide the title of the product, uh, some additional text, um, you know, that you can add. You can also add extra blocks too if you want like the SKU, uh, you know, certain other information if you want to add something there too if you want to you can also uh, get rid of the share button uh, the one that you can't get rid of though is the view full details um, so let's just hide these other elements just so you can see like if you get rid of everything which i wouldn't necessarily recommend doing um, in this function it will just leave the view full details and add to cart uh, so we're going to go ahead and add back the title, the price, uh, just so you can kind of see what it looks like. And this is essentially what it will look like on the featured product. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go back to the, go back to the button selector on the featured product. So we're going to go click here. We're going to show the dynamic buttons. It may or may not show it depending on your store. Um, if you have the dynamic buttons or not, if you to get the actual like buy it now button, we're gonna go ahead and refresh. Okay, so as you can see here, the actual buy it now button, because we checked the show dynamic checkout buttons, it is showing here. So you can see add to cart, buy it now. Um, if you do, you know if you have PayPal or Apple Pay, it may replace the buy it now button with a PayPal or Apple Pay button or Shop Pay button, just so you're aware of what it may look like. And then essentially now you have this on your homepage. People can actually view this product directly on the home page, you know, zoom in on the image if they want to. They can, it will then leave a link directly to the actual specific product page, or they can just click this buy now button and it will take them right to the checkout from your home page. So that can be really nice if you're just, especially if you're maybe a one product store and you're trying to promote a specific product that's a really great way to do it from your home page or if you really just have like one hero product that you're trying to promote um, that makes a lot of sense to have that feature product alternatively you can also just have people add it to cart right from their home page so they don't actually have to go to the specific product page uh, itself they can actually get to this from just directly on the home page by utilizing the featured product section uh, on your Shopify store again you can edit a lot of these functions if you want to show certain things not show certain things it is all attached to the specific product that you selected so if you want to edit some of this information uh, you have to actually edit the product in the product settings in your Shopify store if you want some of this information to change here outside of just like the look and feel if you want the actual information to change here because it is all dynamically attached to the product details so if you change the price in your product details it will automatically populate here because you selected that specific product so do just keep that in mind but that's how you add the buy now button to your home page um, it will have the image there too so it's more like a featured product than just the button if you did just want like a button um, there isn't a way to link directly um, easily to the buy it now um, outside of this unless you just wanted to link like on top of the image banner uh, you could link any button just directly to uh, a specific product page if you want to do that you could just copy the link of the product and paste that inside any of these other buttons or you could just like if you go scroll through here you know you have one where you have you know some information under the rich text we add a block here we add a button you know something like that that button you can select um to actually link just to a product so you could have it just link right to a shirt or something um and you could technically call this uh buy now um you know but it's not actually going to take people directly to the cart that's why i showed you what it looked like from the product featured product because that is actually a live buy it now button versus the buy now button that you manually add on your homepage or really anywhere you add buttons in your Shopify store, it will just link to the product page. So if you want to do that too, showing you that here, if you want to just do that alternatively as well, you can also do that too. Obviously the other buttons are a little bit more flexible in terms of you know how you want them to appear and where you want them to appear you are a little bit more limited with the featured product in terms of sort of the placement of things it's kind of stuck inside that area but that's how it's going to work if you want them to actually be, be dynamic add to cart and true like true add to cart and buy now buttons on your shopify store uh, besides just like regular traditional buttons like this one um, where it'll just link out to any specific link that you put here um, so you can also do dynamic sources too. Not going to be getting into that in this video here today. 
Um, but that is an alternative option too. If you do have those set up in your store, um, you know, you can select any kind of link here if you want to link to a collection or a product, but this figured I would mention that as well. Now to add it to your product page, of course, some of you guys are probably like, Hey, well, how do I add this to my product page? Right? So to once we've now added this to the home page, if you do want to add additional buttons, buy now buttons to your product page, you know, through the Shopify theme editor, what you're going to do is click here in the top. So you're on home page. Now you're going to click into products and you're going to select default product. This is the default product. Um, template that will appear for all products on your Shopify store. Let me repeat all products on your Shopify store. So I will be showing you how to change this so that it is just for a single product. Um, or if you want it to be dynamic, it just depends on sort of how you're going about building out your Shopify store because there's ways to make it static where it stays the same and you're just going to see that repeat on every single product. I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, and I'll also show you what it looks like if you want it to be a little bit more dynamic. So to do it static, I would only recommend if you're maybe a single product store um, or if you just create a separate template. Uh, that would be fine as well. Uh, if you just created a separate template, um, that could be an option as well. But do just keep in mind all these little things. It, it will either work or not work if you don't follow every single step in this process. So if you want to add the product featured product later down on your um, product page, maybe for example, in this case, you know, every product, you kind of have a lot of the same type of reviews images, maybe you have the same information here. Again, this default product template will appear on every single product. So if I go to this shirt here, um, just to show you what I mean, if you go to the shirt here, you see all the same information here. Um, the same image with text, free shipping, hassle free. You may also like, um, that's all static. And some of these are like dynamic. Obviously the, you may also like is dynamic. Um, built out. Again, I have other tutorials on the channel if you want to learn how to do those. Um, this is all static information. It will be the same on every product page. We go to the jeans. It's going to be the same information below. You're going to have the image with text. Obviously, this one doesn't have any reviews, um, but you can see the shirt one, you know, has this information here. We go to the jeans one. Uh, we refresh it. It has the same image with text. Okay. There are the customer reviews one loaded in has the same stuff there that you may also like is going to be different. But in terms of adding an additional buy button, what you can do, um, if you want to maybe have this sort of build out like a landing page, instead of just having the add to cart and buy now button there, what you can do is come down here further down on the template and you're going to add section to template. Like we've done before, um, add section to template. We're going to do it, you know, all the way at the bottom here, add section and we're going to select featured product. And this will then give you the featured product like I showed you before. Now, the way to make it dynamic, you can connect a dynamic source. You click connect dynamic source and you're going to select product. This will be the product from the current page um, that you have. So this is the way to do it dynamically. And honestly, this is probably the way I would recommend doing it just so that you have less headache on your end uh, in terms of the way your Shopify store is built out. Um, so you want to select from current page on the product and then you can come down here and edit everything like you would want to like normal. You can, you know, get rid of the quantity selector. Um, you know, you can get rid of certain things. If you just don't want them there, you get rid of the share buttons. You can also opt to leave them all there. Uh, you know, you can get rid of different things if you just feel like, ah, don't need it there. Um, and then you can go ahead and click save. And because we connected this as a dynamic source, it will pull the information from that specific product page uh, and it will then give you this, you know, add to cart, buy it now as a second option on that page. If we refresh the shirt page, as you can see here, we scroll down, we scroll down and it's the shirt. It's not the watch because it's a dynamic source. It's selecting the information from the current page. So that's how you add it another buy button. If you want to have this kind of like a landing page, you know, you share some information specific to that product, or maybe you build it out kind of like a landing page. Um, you know, you have that option there. Maybe you share some, some customer general customer information on every product page, and then you make this just the dynamic source. So this is all static information that will be the same on every single product page. Um, this is dynamic. Uh, and then this would be dynamic here. 
uh, as you can see. So hopefully that you kind of get the difference here with static. Static is stuff that things like it's going to have the same exact text on every single page. So if you add like hassle free exchanges, free shipping, that's fine because that's going to apply pretty much to every single product. Um, same with like the, hey, add a review type thing. That's going to be the same on every single product. And then you have the buy it now and the add a cart for that specific product. So, you know, that's a way to go about doing it to adding it to your product page as well. You just have to make sure you select the dynamic source. If we go to the jeans, we refresh it here. And boom, now we have the jeans at the bottom. So, you know, if you're building out landing pages and you just want people to have multiple options to click like add to cart, buy it now, instead of just the one setup at the top, then, you know, that's the option there. You can do that um, and adding it here. And then people can dynamically click this just like how they would regularly. And it will take them right to the cart. Um, or they can even click the regular ads a cart and it will do that again there too from either of these buttons, you know, beyond just the traditional featured product uh, button. So, you you know, both of them work dynamically. Uh, so that's how you add it to the product page if you want to add those buy now buttons. And this will all match your theme settings, your theme colors, and you don't have to really mess around with any kind of code because it's pretty much just dynamically built into the sections in your Shopify store. Um, so you can really play around with it a lot if you want to kind of mess around with the colors, the look, and the what information is shared uh, just make sure you select that dynamic source and then you know compare with the static information you're adding to your product landing page template uh, under the default product and that's how you go about doing it now if you do want to make things dynamic per product what you could do is go in here under products and create a template and then you would assign it to a new template now i'm not going to be doing that in this tutorial here because pretty much already created essentially what we would want. But if you did want to have like another template, what you could do is, you know, add additional specifications for a certain product, um, like extra collages and things like that. And then you would just make sure that that is maybe a specific product landing page for a certain product because it's saved under that separate template. Um, you edit it under this other template, such as test two in this example, as you can see, we've already added the multimedia collage and other sections. You can add as many sections as you want inside here. Um, and you can make them product specific if you want to add those product specific details inside here. Um, and then what you would need to do is this, just go click exit, go to your products. And then you're going to go to that specific product that you've added that extra information to say, for example, uh, it was this earring you click on that there and then you're going to scroll down to the theme template change it from default product change it to that new test template with the static information uh, and then it will change that theme template so that you can see uh, the multimedia collage and other sections maybe you've added to that specific product along with the buy buttons um, if you are making it in a more static way if you're doing it dynamic you can just leave it all on dynamic product like I showed you in this tutorial and you won't have any issues and it'll automatically dynamically populate for all the different products. So I hope you guys understand this explanation. I kind of want to just walk through every little step of the process because it can be a little bit confusing. Um, so hopefully this tutorial helpful helped you on how to add those add to cart and buy now buttons for different products on your homepage and your product page and it's dynamic and it matches your actual themes customization so again guys i hope you found this tutorial helpful again if you don't already have a shopify store you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description that's brendavaleski.com forward slash shopify it will take you right over this page here where you can get started with a shopify free trial again guys if you found this tutorial helpful or enjoyed it then be sure to smash that like button hit the subscribe button as well and notification bell so you're notified whenever i upload a new video but anyway guys that's all for today's video and i will see you in the next one peace out